Hello, everyone. Seems this is way too high, isn't it? Let's just go ahead and adjust that so I don't blow out your eardrums. Sorry about that. Sometimes it's random how loud it'll actually be. How's it going? Welcome to the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Are you ready for the ultimate destruction? It, it loves doing that. Anyway, let's do this thing. Ah, uh, but of course, we're gonna have to see a cutscene. Nothing wrong with that. Gotta put everything into context, after all. Hope everyone's doing well. Just has to load. <laughs> there we go. There's a thin line between good and bad. I walk that line every single day. Yeah, I noticed Godzilla. I stray from it. People die. My name is Bruce Banner. And this is me. I'm not a person anymore. I'm the Hulk. I did this to myself. All the way to science. This is me. And all that I've become. I'm a big, green time bomb. And I'm ticking. Welcome to the Hulk Survival Program. In this series of exercises, you will approximate Hulk's basic abilities, the implication being that when facing the Hulk in direct combat, you will have the advantage of knowing his capabilities through your VR experience. Pretty clever, isn't it? It's framing the whole tutorial mission as a VR exercise. Hulk excels at destruction. Try running into various obstacles here to get a sense of the creature's power. Huh. While this is merely a virtual representation of the beast, be reminded that Hulk is actually capable of most feats demonstrated here. Another example of Hulk's immense strength, he seems capable of picking up virtually any object in his path. Approach any object and press the grab-throw control to lift it. Indeed. This is probably one of the more powerful video games I've played. It really makes the Hulk feel like he's above it all. There's puny little humans waiting to get crushed, John. Because I've, I've seen mostly older games that have the Hulk be vulnerable to things like bullets, which is kind of weird. This betrays him more realistically. These little mooks, they're useless against him. And he can charge up everything. What do we have here? Oh look, cows. Pressing or the bulls. special button will activate Hulk's more advanced techniques, unleashing everything he's got. These will often launch or stun anyone hit. As with Hulk's other techniques, holding the button will increase the power of each technique. It is vital what a load of bull. you research Hulk's various combat abilities. He's not only powerful, but extremely fast. When in close, do not hesitate against him. Fight to win. Consult your field manual for a complete list of Hulk's known combat techniques. Good luck with that. Fight to win. You'll be lucky to survive. Fight to win. You better have nukes if you're gonna fight to win. That's all I'm saying. Throw the enemy, L will allow to choose what target that enemy will be thrown at. <laughs> there you go. That is funny. Ah, cool. Even more fitting that I picked it then. That explains a few things. 
It was made around the same era of consoles. This is Delta and it has a similar silliness to it. Got him dead to right, anyway, I guess I better do these exercises so we can move on. As fun as it is screwing around. And just making things go boom. Wow. That is actually causing choppiness. Or at least that was. Oh well. Oak can both climb and run up walls. Collect the markers that are about to appear on the side of a wall to continue. Ah, hey, Craig Ridley. Well, I think they made another Incredible Hulk open world game for the Wii and the PC and other things, but uh, from what I've heard, it's worse than this. <laughs> it's nowhere near as good. Press and hold the grab button to approximate Hulk's ability to climb sheer surfaces. Try it now. You got it, buddy. Oh, okay. I guess you had to be continuously grabbing to grab it. Run into a wall. Oh, jeez. Okay, then. Took it at an angle there, didn't we? That's better. Wall running and climbing go hand in hand when running and jumping. Use these abilities together and you will be unstoppable. Pick up a missile pack from the roof and press Y to weaponize it. Okay then. Nice. Heh. <laughs> Got my own rocket launcher. Take this, asshole. Now that's a homing, home-seeking missile. You've just got a taste of weaponization. Hulk's ability to apply his incredible strength to create new powerful weapons. Spend your smash points to unlock the many and varied weaponizations available. Cool. I think one of my favorites is actually taking a car and then just ripping it in half and making gauntlets out of it. So cool. You have found comic book 1 out of 60. You have unlocked a cheat code. Enter the following and see what happens. Oh, Canada. You can access it through the code input menu and extras. Dozens of comic book covers have been placed throughout the world. Each new comic you find will unlock features like cheats, smash point awards, and special content. See if you can find them all. Cool. I think I'm gonna do all these first, though. That way you get all the content. And besides, I should make sure that I've brushed up on things. It has been a while. Should probably just use the mini-map, that might make things easier. Ah, there we go. Time to start another one. This exercise will teach you about Hulk's powerful jumping ability. A series of markers will appear above the base. Collect Hulk's all of them. Hulk's primary method of movement is his ability to leap long distances. Even his smaller jumps are considered impossible by most standards. Follow the instructions on your display to familiarize yourself with this phenomenon. Very nice. No problem. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. There we go. Charging and jumps allow us Hulk to jump farther and j higher. Mastering jumping is critical to your success. Charge Hulk's attacks for extra damage and power. 
indeed. Another bonus. The funny thing is you do eventually go back to this military base in the game proper. You have found comic book 2 out of 60. You have unlocked an item in character render gallery. You can access it through the art gallery menu and extras. Cool. Unlock the cheat code and the gallery image. Let's just smash everything. Sir, we need... Sir, we need oh! <laughs> That's hilarious. I just love when you cut them short. Sir, we need a grave. For me. <laughs> now learn to target and attack enemies by throwing objects at them. Helicopters will now fly around the base. Destroy as many Once as you the can. Beast has located a perceived threat. He will launch objects with no regard for human life. Tap or hold the designated grab throw button. Nicely done. Noted that Hulk frequently uses heavy objects as missiles. These can be thrown with devastating power and accuracy. Oh look, it's a girder. For targets at great distances, ah, pressing and holding the grab throw button will hit targets at greater distances. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Just needed an object. Actually, I could have just thrown... I could have taken that helicopter and thrown it at the other helicopter. In fact, let's do that. Let's take the remains of this helicopter and throw it at the other helicopter. We must get to the chopper. To destroy the chopper. Darn. They're evading me. How dare they. How dare they evade me. Cowards. Why can't they just stand still and be destroyed? That's more like it. I don't need you. You're too weak to destroy a helicopter. Let's get in closer. Nicely done. Try evading that, son of a bitch. Oh, you were way too close. Targeting and throwing are key combat abilities. Use targeting to single out enemies and combine with throwing to engage opponents at long range. Now this is power. This game does a really good job making you feel powerful. But on the other hand, it's not completely brainless. As you go, there will be threats to you. Just not right now. Environment gallery. Cool. Once Hulk has acquired an object, the creature will frequently manipulate it to or battering ram. A favorite ploy, often referred to as the school prison. This is what I was talking about. Into a pair of metal gauntlets. Press the special button. Dramatically increased. <laughs> It seems weird that the Hulk would need gauntlets, but hey, don't knock it. I guess even he could use some boxing gloves. Oh. Wow, they're just destroying their own base at this point, aren't they? Ah, oh, this is great. Congratulations, you have found comic book 4 out of 60. Movie gallery, cool. Only a shame, I can't imagine a good whole game being made in today's climate. Well, at least not if modern day Marvel is behind it. Given how bad that She-Hulk show went down, let's just say I don't trust them. I don't trust them to do the Hulk justice. Not anymore. Maybe they pass off to another company and that company actually likes the Hulk, you know? Oh, well, at least we still have older games like this. Bruce, where the hell have you been? Oh, out getting some fresh air. 
Well, I'm glad one of us was. All right, listen to me. I've intercepted a transmission coming out of Branson Military Base. Some spook named Blonsky's taken charge. They're planning a major foray in your direction as we speak. Bruce, he's requisitioned half the men and supplies on the base. They know you're out there and they're coming for you. I want you to come back into town and lay low for a while. You're in real danger out there. When? If I came into town, everyone would be in danger. Bruce, as your doctor, I'm urging you to reconsider. Your health's deteriorating by the hour. You're not going to find a cure for the Hulk out there by yourself. Hey, you worry too much. Nobody knows I'm here. Hello, Dr. Banner. I've waited a long time to make your acquaintance. Yeah, you probably should have realized he wasn't correct on that. Send they... a warning shot his way, General. If Banner's in there, I want him to get the point quickly. Don't be ridiculous, Blonsky. We'd give away our position. <sighs> Corporal, send in a fire team. One round towards the outhouse by the west wall. Yes, sir! Alpha One Niner, Tango is in the clear. I repeat, Tango is clear. Yeah, I think it's time to run. Oh, you? Whenever an enemy is defeated, you get smash points. Power ups are also spawned. Indeed. Keep track of Hulk's health by using the power meter. Move quickly. Holding down R rather than tapping it. Yeah, go, boy. Go, go. Maybe I should fight back. They don't seem like they're willing to stop, do they? Well, time to fight back. Certain enemies are armored. Uncharged attacks will not damage an armored opponent. You must charge your attacks to be able to damage armored opponents. Tanks are always armored. Watch out for other enemies that resist your attacks. Luckily, the gauntlets work just fine for that. Hulk has collected a power-up. Cool. Uh, I love how he actually tracks it. Take this, you prick. Take this. When the Hulk's power reaches critical mass, his rage feeds his strength, giving him substantially increased damage. Later, you will be able to buy some devastating special attacks that are fueled by your critical mass. Awesome. Oh, shit. Take this. Man. I will smash everything that's in my way. Very nice. Oops. I need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, there it is. Just gotta get up there. But first, let's send them a message. Just gonna send them a little message, that's all. A parting gift. Okay, I think I'm done now. We're pretty much done here. 200 smash points. It doesn't matter. This is just the beginning. I hope you're satisfied, Blonsky. The Hulk got away. He'll turn up. 
He's a freak and a conspicuous one. I'm more concerned with what Banner left behind. There. I want that bio container before it's destroyed. Careful, Blonsky! You have no idea what you're playing with. I have a job to do, General. Banner left his toys in the playground, and I'm not about to watch them burn. This is how he becomes the abomination. Oh, is that a spoiler? Yeah, this game is really old, so, uh, come on. The weather alert will continue with heavy rains coming in from the northwest. Meanwhile, the governor plays down suggestions the Hulk is still in the area. Residents are urged to remain calm. They took the machine from me. It was the only chance I had. I didn't have anywhere else to go. Okay, follow me quickly. You should have come here sooner, Bruce. Look, I know, and I'm sorry. The sickness is getting worse. I think the Hulk's trying to break away from me, and I, I don't know how long I'll be able to contain it. It's far from completion, but it's a start. With your expertise added, we can get into your neural generators and figure out what triggers the beast. Not with this kind of processing power. I mean, Len, how are we going to equip it? I already thought of that. Here, put this on. What is it? Think of it as a video game. Ah, uh, you see what they did? You see what they did there? Was this another simulation? I can't wait. The enemy within, Bruce Banner and the Hulk have bar barely escaped from a surprise assault on Banner's secret hideout thanks to a last second warning from Banner's friend and associate, Dr. Leonard Sampson. But Banner's remaining hope for a cure for his affliction, a machine designed to delve into his psyche and quell the beast within, has been left in ruins as a result of the attack. Now Banner has a new, and a new adversary, a former NSA operative named Emil Blonsky was taken joint command of the Sinister Division along with his military counterpart General Thaddeus, Thunderbolt Ross. Blonsky exhibits a profound hatred of all gamma-irradiated creatures and will stop at nothing to first dissect and subsequently destroy them all. In a moment of haste, Blonsky attempts to retrieve a vial of radioactive material from the wreckage of Banner's machine and is himself flooded with a massive dose of gamma rays. And yeah, case it wasn't apparently... Uh, in case it wasn't abundantly obvious, he's going to transform into something like the Hulk. They pretty much spell it out. Either he was going to die or he was going to transform. It's not like he's going to say, oh, nothing happened. You're looking at a 3D model of a handheld neural interface. It can perform read or write operations directly into a patient's mind. In effect, the device force feeds mission objectives into your mind, then violently transforms you into the Hulk. I know it won't be pleasant, but it's the only chance we've got. I know how to quell the beast. I'll purposely transform into him. That'll work out. You can tell that wasn't made with in-game graphics. Not only because of the lighting effects, but because it was basically in 480p. That's the funny thing about emulating an old game like this. Jump markers will allow you to travel quickly to other locations. Cool. But yeah, that's the funny thing about emulating games from this era, because they were all in 480p. So whenever you see anything that's pre-rendered, it becomes abundantly obvious. As if it wasn't already obvious. I guess it's time to say hello to the nearby city, huh? All units be on the lookout for Dr. Bruce Banner. 5'11", medium build, brown hair. Subject considered armed and dangerous. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Let, let me rephrase that. He's dangerous and has arms. And those arms are more dangerous than guns. Collecting comic book covers will unlock special features. Can you find them all? I don't know. Can I? We have a 10 Unit responding on the scene. Don't mind me. I'm just scenic viewing. Do I even have any mission objectives? Oh, defeat the police resistance, that's all. Okay. I mean, if that's my objective, then sure, why not? I think I can do that. Call me crazy, but I think I can do that. Hell, I'll do more than just destroy the police. Anyone nearby, they're gonna get bye bye -ed. You might want to step back now. You really don't want to see the fireworks. You found comic book 5 out of 60. You have unlocked a cheat code. Mutenda. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Nice little city here. Pretty big, too. I'd say maybe comparable to Grand Theft Auto. Or at least like one of the islands on GTA 3 or something. And this isn't all the game either, technically. Oh. Oops. There we go. Just had to do a backflip. Man, it's amazing how powerful this game makes you feel. Let's get to the highest point just to see how, high, how large this city actually is. First, flying enemies like helicopters will have a harder time avoiding your ranged attacks if they are coming towards you and are reasonably close. Yeah, I've learned that the hard way. Guess I gotta destroy the police resistance now. Fine by me. Is that still what that says, defeat the police resistance? Or maybe I was supposed to do it closer to the checkpoint. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go off on my own just yet. Oh well, who cares? It's fun. It's fun just being the Hulk for a little while, you know? <laughs> who needs objectives? You just walk around, create your own chaos. It's like the fun of Grand Theft Auto, except on steroids. And it's kind of funny because The Simpsons Hit and Run is like a very much neutered version of Grand Theft Auto. No offense to it. It's obviously meant for a more general audience, so you can't do anything too crazy. You can only kick people around and, you know, like annoy them. Sure, you could smash up vehicles, but you weren't so much stealing them as hitchhiking. This, on the other hand, ooh, this allows you to kill and destroy all you want. And because you're the Hulk, it's even more devastating. It's like Saints Row. In fact, I was thinking of switching to Saints Row 4 after this. Just because it has a similar vibe to it. It's probably because you're essentially in a simulator. But you do have that similar vibe of just leaping buildings easily. You feel super powered in that game too. You know? I even made my character look like the Hulk when I was playing the Stadia version. Good times. And I remember my voice was shot to hell because I was trying to get through as many playthroughs as I could before the Google Stadia Pro Trial ran out. Definitely did not do my voice box any favors. You could tell I was struggling there. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I should aim better. That's the Achilles heel of having super jumps. If you don't know where you're aiming, you just end up on the ground just as fast. Let's get some smash points. Ah, there we go. The more smash points I get, the more abilities I can unlock. I think you do get something akin to a dash eventually. 
I don't remember though. I do know that you can basically smash up a, a bus and use it as a surfboard, which is amazing. Yeah, I'm just surfing the road. Anyway. This looks like something I could do. Find additional jump markers so you can use them as shortcuts to cross distances quickly. Nice. Sweet. Well, I've reached critical mass. Ah, more police resistance. I'm guessing the ones that are red dots, they're the ones you're supposed to destroy, not just any cop. The police resistance. You there. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be you. Uh, what's the point? I agree. What is the point? You may as well just get out of my way right now. If you get out of my way right now, I will try to avoid the vehicles. And, the and I will just... I said freeze. Okay. I'll put you on ice, if that's what you want. Hey, he said freeze. He didn't say what kind of freeze. <laughs> The only freeze we're going to be having around here is the cold and stiff kind. Sorry, but that's just the way it's got to be. More of you. Jeez, how many more of these guys do I have to kill before the mission objective is complete? I guess the correct answer to that is all of them. More smash points. Sweet. Yeah, those are everywhere. Me want more power-ups. To do stuff with. More police resistance. Ah, there we go. The objective's complete now. Awesome. Lightning strike. Cool. Huh, I guess that's all I had to do. Well, that was simpler than I thought it would be. I thought I'd have to actually go somewhere. Even though it did say that that was an objective, I wasn't quite so sure. I was second-guessing it. Alright, let's do a story objective or two. We can't just screw around all day. Or can we? Nah, we should probably also advance the story at some point, you know? Man, this is fun, though. Smashing things up. There are certain select buildings that you can actually demolish. The problem is it's only certain select ones. It's very scripted, you know? It's almost like Duke 3D in that regard, where you could demolish some buildings, but they were very scripted. You couldn't just, say, smash up this random building right here. Although, I think this one actually can be destroyed. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? I said, oh, you can't just say smash up this random building here, and this is one of the buildings you can't smash up. Ah, comedic timing. Gotta love it. I swear that was not intentional. I know it may look like it's intentional, but... <laughs> that was just a random building that just happened to be in the story mission. We need to take a big risk, Bruce. We're going to use the Hulk to help us build the machine through hypnotic implants and auto-suggestion. It's going to take about 5,000 watts to run the equipment. And you want me to smash up the main grid? Just the relevant parts. I've identified three key substations that need to be taken out, but be careful. They're surrounded by high-voltage Tesla fields. Sounds fun, doesn't it? We need to take a big oh, wait. risk, Bruce. We're going to use the Hulk. I had to press A, my bad. Alright, let's get to smashing. Let's plunge them into the Stone Age. Or at least the Dark Ages. Whatever the age was before electricity. That's where they're getting plunged back into.
I love how basically he has Bruce Banner's voice going through his head. You know, this will make it better. This will make it faster, won't it? And who said the Hulk can't be strategic? Sure, mindlessly destroying is fun, but that doesn't mean he can't use some strategy either. Ooh, smash points, thank you. Now on to business. You see, when you've got steel gauntlets, it makes it all the easier. This is really the best you've got. You're gonna have to send some better men out here. Again, you're gonna have to go Raccoon City if you want to take me out. That would be a tactical nuke. That's pretty much what it would take to take out the Hulk. Actually, considering the Hulk is powered by gamma rays, he turned into what he is because of gamma rays, would a nuclear explosion make him stronger? Now that's a question to ponder. Or at least I think it is. Is it weird that my mind turns to places like that? Oh well. I don't know, it seems logical to me, doesn't it? Or at the very least, nuclear fall off. Like if he destroyed a nuclear bomb nearby and then he went into it later on, would he become... Would he become at least empowered by the resulting radiation in the area? Like if he went to the area of Chernobyl, would he become stronger? I'm just... I'm just saying. Take that. Oh, we've got helicopters. Nicely done. Only a shame I can't do anything with a helicopter. Well, I mean, I can throw it at someone. That's about it. Oh, time to run. I love how he can do things like wall running and jumping even when he's holding this thing. Say no problem. Oh, I see. There aren't any more helicopters here. Out of my way. Out of my way. I need to get, watch out for the Teslas. That's going to be a death sentence right there. Ah, shit. It's taking evasive maneuvers. Well, I'm just going to have to do this fast then, won't I? Give me a present. Ah, shit. Darn it. There are two types of missions, story missions and challenge missions. Story missions are those which progress the story of Dr. Boehner's attempt to build a machine to find a cure for gamma mutation. Challenge missions are additional objectives and challenges that can be undertaken by the Hulk during the course of play. Awesome. Alright. Cool. Take this. Gotta get rid of these helicopters. They're an eyesore. Also, they're trying to kill me. That, that matters too. Huh. I notice that these um, golden orbs that give you smash points seem to be around every substation. Probably as a reward. That would make sense. 
Take this, asshole. More critical mass. Thank you. Oh, I guess I took care of all the helicopters. But not all the missile throwers. Let's see what the challenge mission has. Move through the course defined by wayward markers as fast as possible. Tag each marker and turn to successfully complete the course. Ah, I see. It's one of these. It's a racing course. Cool. Cool stuff. Let's do it. Although, funny enough, some of these challenges could just be used as an excuse to destroy things. Like this one, actually. You notice that the timer isn't going down, it's going up. It's marking how long it takes for you to complete this. So technically, you don't ever have to complete it. You can just destroy, you can just go around destroying stuff and then it doesn't attract any attention. It's actually a very easy way to build up smash points and just destroy things without any consequences. Fun fact. Although I think I'm just gonna do the course straight right now. Mission complete. Okay, I got the silver medal, not bad. Probably, probably could have done better, but you know, whatever. Silver is pretty good. It's a respectable medal. Or at least I think so. There we go. Now let's get out of here. At least for now. Wait a minute. That's weird. Oh, wait a minute. Went right past one of the golden orbs. Where was it? Ah, right there. Cool. Gotta get those things. Those things are valuable. Unspeakably valuable. I'll just use the jump marker and get out of here so I can get some stuff. Should be good. <laughs> well, let's, I just find that funny whenever the Hulk does that. He just, nope, nope's right out of there. Yeah, the Hulk entering a church. So, man, that's amusingly ironic in a way. Buy menu. Steel fist acquired. Dashing straight. What does that do? A high speed attack. Great for clearing just about anything out of Hulk's way. Air recovery. Recover instantly from any attack that floats Hulk into the air. This is an important technique. Well, that's good. I like having air control, you know? I'm not so much a fan of games that take away your control when you're in the air. Especially anything that's based off of the Nest Castlevania, which means I'm not going to be a fan of the Bloodstained Curse of the Moon games. Backhand, show your respect by applying the back of your hand to an enemy's skull. <laughs> sure, I mean, we got a pimp slap. <laughs> the pimp slap is just required. I can't not get it. Running grab. This technique allows Hulk to grab objects and enemies without breaking his run. Great for weaponizing on the move. Awesome. Let's do it. Sure, let's try it out. A lot of these sound really useful. And I think that's the point. You're incentivized to get as many smash points as you possibly can. That way you can just bulk up on super moves, you know? Become even more powerful. Try following the on-screen instructions. We need to get I mean, this isn't exactly a hard concept. You just literally do what you do already. But you do it while running. See, now I can use it for steel fists. Indeed. I wonder if there's a move for running while throwing. That way I wouldn't have to stop moving ever. What the? These new moves are a powerful asset. Follow the on-screen directions to apply your new ability. Okay. You gonna tell me? You're doing well. 
Very nice. Excellent, you have completed a running grab. Ah. I guess that was just for that. Let's abort mission. It's just a tutorial area anyway. Let's try to fast forward through this. Because there is a fast forward button I can use. Let's see what else I can get. Show me the money. Ground smash. Pound the ground to clear anything from your path. Oh, definitely, I want that. That one's one of the more useful moves. Dashing straight, maybe. High speed attack, A while running. Let's do it. Punt kick. Useful for distancing troublesome foes. Well, there you go, I got everything. Actually, no, I have not. Not even close. Whoa, that one's really expensive. Smash Express. Pick up any two-handed object and deliver the pain. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Sonic Clap. Create a sonic shockwave blasting anything nearby. Oh, I want that. That's, that one's a really good one, too. Air Stomp? Right. Well, I've still got a lot more to go. Double Fist Toss? Throw a wall, oh, throw a wall on the move. Crap. And I just said I would love to have that one. No, that's fine, though. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let me just wait for it to load again. Because I guess I unloaded it. My bad. A lot of good moves, though. Let's see how we can use them. Yeah, the story stars right over there. I may as well at least clear out the city before I just go around having fun. Clear out all the story missions in the city. Huh. Ooh. Nice. Gotta love the convenient positioning of that. Anyway. Ooh, that is a dash. Look at that. Now if I mistime something... You just do this. Oh, wait. No, I think that's what I already had. Quick. Blonsky knows we're on to him. According to an intercepted memo, his backup data is on a computer terminal inside Division HQ. We need to rip out the mainframe and bring it back here before Blonsky realizes his mistake. The information it contains could be vital to our chances of success. You got it, sir. So basically, run over to place, and then rip out something, and then deliver it. Without breaking it, probably. I mean, this is the Hulk, so not destroying something is probably going to be the hardest part. Let's be real. Big Zero Six to Command Tower. We are on course for cargo collection. ETA, four minutes. Hulk, I need you to rip out this thing. I Hulk-like. And not destroy it. Hulk decidedly not like. Uh -oh. Good boy, better hurry this up. That's better. Uh oh. Oh, did I? I thought I got the Sonic Clap. I guess I didn't get it for the air yet. Ah, yep. I did not. Oh well. No problem, though. Let's do this thing. Get that mainframe. No problem. Run. Oh. 
So just smash up the place. Whenever a mission objective requires Hulk to protect something, the health of that objective is displayed by the blue objective health meter. Each pip above the health bar indicates another full bar of health. Weak objects may not have any additional pips, while strong objects like buildings may have several. Got it. I'm gonna need to protect this thing. You can't stop me from taking this. Let's just lay low. Or not. I mean, I'm the Hulk for crying out loud. Why should I stay low? That's not my thing. Laying low just isn't the Hulk style, you know? Uh-oh. Maybe it should be. And second thought, maybe we can change. Then again, this is an early mission, so it's still going to be on the easy side. The jump marker is still relatively close. The odds of you destroying it before you get to the jump marker is pretty low. Let's just stand still and let it happen. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Let's jump out. See, no problem. I want a status report double time. It barely got scratched. Perfect. Objective complete. The key to all our problems is Emil Blonsky. We know he was sent by the NSA to monitor Gamma prisoners held inside the vault. If you ask me, Blonsky is a very dangerous individual. His record suggests an emerging persecution complex, perhaps a borderline personality disorder. But you better believe, if he's here to supervise Ross, he's trying to find a military application for Gamma transformation. That's bad. I mean, probably. <laughs> For a second there, I thought the Hulk was about to fall over. At the top of the right of your display, the enemy response system meter is about to turn on. Smash stuff in the ERS threat level rises. Deadly strike team will be sent to combat Hulk. You know, for GameCube era, I'm actually playing the GameCube version, obviously, via Dolphin. That's actually an impressively detailed version of the Hulk. Look at that. It even sort of holds up in 1080p. Or at least that's what you're seeing. I'm actually seeing it in 1440p, but... Even if I could livestream in 1440p, that would make me incapable of going ultra-low latency. And I want to prioritize that, you know? 1080p low latency. Because what's the point if there's more of a delay? Kind of ruins the interaction factor. Not that there's a lot of interaction going on right now, but you know. Let's go for Smash Express. Anything that allows me to do something while on the move is going to be very good. Ah. Uh, I should go for that one next. Although the Critical Atomic Slam is really good. Extra range, extra power, no calories. Funny. You're funny. Oh yeah, let's go and check out the extras too. Comic book gallery. Look at that. Cool. Look at all these comic book covers. This was a different time, alright. Gallery 4. Oh, about to say, I thought I had that one. Environment gallery? Huh, neat. I'm guessing that's the concept art that they made for this game. Character render gallery. Cool. You can tell they put a lot of time into this. And you can also tell this is made for 4x3. Especially... right there. Or then again, I don't think 4x3 is that squish, so maybe I'm wrong. The making of, the strongest one there is. Division Director, Transformation, Person of Mass Destruction, Time Bomb. Code input, stats. I wonder if there is, oh, there is a, an option for widescreen, my bad. That probably looks a lot better. 
considering now it was made for the screen aspect ratio that it's actually in. I probably should have done that sooner. Sorry about that, but better late than never, huh? Now he won't be widened out. It'll probably look weird. This is how it was meant to look, I'm guessing. Yeah, it does look different, doesn't it? He, he's no longer widened out. Still looks really good. That character model is impressive. I mean, the texture quality especially. You'd expect it to turn into mud up that up close like that, but no, it actually holds up. Gotta give credit where credit is due, you know? Okay, let's go for the next story mission. Maybe. I don't know. Uh oh. I should probably try to, de to avoid destroying things. If I want an easier time, anyway. Hmm. You've been awarded a bonus of 10,000 smash points. Nice. That is a lot of smash points. Sweet. And you get more comic book covers, which is nice. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be able to read the entire comic, but just seeing what the covers look like is pretty cool. Uh-oh. 10,000 more smash points. Holy crap. At this rate, I'll get the atomic slam in no time. Ooh, nice. The Dane. 1,000 smash points. Let's do this thing. You know what? Screw it. Before I go to the next story mission, maybe I want to see about getting that atomic slam first. That would be very handy. At least I like to think so. It's basically like a nuclear bomb going off. It's a big explosion attack. Really good for clearing out threats, you know? In other words, I want it. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Shit, shit, shit. I better just get on with this already. I just sworn I saw something. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's just a star I can't get yet. Let's see what else I can get. What the? Huh, interesting. See how I can get that. I'm going to assume that I got to run for it. I was right. <laughs> well, what do you know? You'd almost think I was doing this on purpose. But that's overestimating me just a bit. Believe me when I say I am not that clever. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this thing that I totally knew was there ahead of time, but I'm acting like it is a complete surprise. No, nah, I'm not that. I'm not that clever. Hulk smash. That's about my line of thinking. Uh-oh. You can tell I'm not that clever because I can't even jump properly. Bingo. Oh, okay, that's awkward. Now I want to smash more things just to get the number out of that. Ah, that's better. <laughs> that's much better. Where are those jump markers? Ah. Well, that might help. Too bad there doesn't appear to be a button for dedicated maps, though. At least there doesn't appear to be. The D-pad doesn't seem to do anything. So maybe they could have done something with that for the map. 
Oh, well. Maybe not. Let's get that critical atomic slam before we do anything else. Shit. <laughs> if I can ever figure out how to traverse buildings without just completely going off in the other direction. Now, to get the power move. Ah, oh, this is gonna be good. Critical Atomic Slam. I didn't expect I'd get two comics to give you 10,000 back to back. That was unexpected. But amazing. That's weird. It's like it just unloads it for no reason. Oh well. It's all good. At least as far as I could tell. Let's go ahead and do that just in case anything happens. Gotta have backups here. Ooh, nice. Yeah, probably not a big surprise that at first you're gonna find those all over the place. But for obvious reasons, they're gonna become scarcer and scarcer as you find them all. Anyway, moving on. Hmm, maybe I should increase my health first. Yeah, I should probably increase my health before I do that story mission. Ah, there's one. All's well that ends well. Hmm. I don't see many green orbs up here. Real shame. But what can you do? I'm assuming the green orbs do come back. They're just health orbs. They give you back health. But it's going to naturally be depleted. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm always going to find them. But, you know, sometimes I'll get lucky. And by lucky, I mean I'll actually pay attention for once. Standing down, he says, but the cops will still shoot you on sight. So what does that mean? I guess that just means they won't attack you with any real amount of force. They won't use the helicopters just yet. Or the tanks. Actually, I don't think the tanks come out in this level, at least not this soon. I think it's mostly just the helicopters. Could be wrong on that, though. Okay, cheat code. Drappy yo. Okay. Well, I've got critical mass, so let's go do that story mission. And hey, I can do that critical slam if I need it. Critical atomic slam in critical mass. I think you can use it both on the ground and in the air. We have Maybe a target of opportunity. I've hacked a lab computer at a division research facility. Which is illegal? Very. I just tripped a failsafe so Blonsky knows I'm inside. He'll destroy the entire place before he allows the download to complete. You're asking me to run protection while you loot the network. Six or seven minutes, that's all I need. Hey Gary, what's up? I guess I gotta do a protection mission here. I remember doing this originally too. Because I did a brief let's play on this. Defend the bio research center until the data download time expires. Guess we gotta do this. And you know the best way to protect something? By smashing anyone who would want to destroy it. And I'm glad to hear that, Gary. I'm glad to hear that. Hulk smash! Well, I guess I better just weaponize something. I'm gonna get a time limit for Hulk to complete a mission objective. I've got three and a half minutes. And I've got to make sure that building isn't destroyed before then. 
It's go time, bro. I can see the target. Ah, crap, a tank. Nicely done. Ah, shit. They're actually doing a number of damage to me. Ow, dick. The ones with missiles are definitely going to be a threat. Oh, shit. Let's take it down. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Destroy that thing. Thank you. I need to hurry this along. Oh, shit. Oh boy, this could be bad. This could be bad. Oh boy, they're... Hurry this along, thank you. If that building is destroyed, it's over. That's better. Got it. I'm trying my best here. Oh boy. Okay. I need to do those spe those special moves here. Ooh, I've got the critical slam. Let's do it. Check this out. Now, oh, is that good or what? It's like Dragon Ball Z-esque shit right there. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. Hurry up. Oh boy. Those ones with the missiles are especially a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, screw you. Oh boy, frick. There, that's better. The smaller ones with the bullets are more of a threat to me, not so much the building. But the ones that... Oh boy. Oh shit, the, the ones that are aiming towards the building are gonna destroy it. Got it. Oh boy. This is bad. Well, I can finish this one off. Take this. Take this, asshole. Nicely done. Mission complete. Objective complete. Awesome, good. Man. I don't care what you need to do or how you do it. Just bring that building down. Oh crap, is it not over yet? No, I already beat the the mission was already what the hell fulfilled. Do you mean need to know basis. Calm down, Jack. You're going to have an aneurysm. You commandeered the inner vault and established a level 15 clearance. Only the president and senior cabinet members have that access. Surely you of all people don't need a lesson in protocol, General. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be more concerned with keeping the Hulk in check? You're not as clever as you think you are, Blonsky. If I so much as imagine you're keeping anyone but God Almighty in that cell, I'll find out and be on you like a dog on a rotten stake. What? <clears throat> oh my God. No! Yeah, see? This is the first clue. He took in that radioactive material and he's turning into the abomination. Ironic.
because he has a hatred of radioactive beings. Samson captured top secret files from the mainframe you obtained from the roof of the division building. Blonsky's files contain vital division intelligence useful for Samson and Hulk in accomplishing their goals. As you advance through your mission, Samson will continue to unlock these secret files and new ones will become available to you. Proceed to the church in order to read the files. Cool. Good stuff, huh? This game does a great job at making you feel powerful, but at the same time, it's hardly mindless. It's still got quite a lot of challenge when it needs to be. It's got a good balance in that sense. I like it. It manages to both make you feel extremely powerful and give you some challenge here and there. Because, as I mentioned before, there are some retro games where, like, straight up bullets hurt the Hulk majorly. Which is kind of silly, in my opinion. Just a regular pistol shouldn't do anything to the Hulk. I mean, Bruce tried to kill himself by shooting himself in the mouth. That's what he said in the Avengers. And Hulk spit out the bullet. So even in his vulnerable mouth tissue, he's pretty much immune to bullets. So something like that shouldn't be a big threat to him. They gotta bring in tanks and helicopters to be a challenge to him. Challenge missions are available between story missions. I see that. Civilians are trapped atop a burning building. Gently carry civilians to the ambulances before the building collapses. Rescue civilians from the burning building. Alright, let's do it. I guess we're gonna be doing something nice as the Hulk for once. Isn't that lovely? Much like any other vigilante, I guess even the Hulk... ...can be nicer than he's portrayed as. Oh boy. There you go. Whoops. Uh, I should I should have pressed Y. My bad. Well, um, she got to the amulets all right. More or less. Ah, here we go. If you press the Y, if you press Y while holding an innocent civilian, he'll let the civilian down and just give them a pat on the head. It's kind of cute, actually. Watch this. There you go. Now stay safely now. See, I'm not a monster. Well, maybe I am, but I'm not evil. Not entirely. And I keep accidentally hurting some of them. There you go, buddy. Oops. It's so easy to accidentally misdirect your jump. Relax. Relax, you'll be fine. Uh, where are the civilians? I don't see any more civilians. Oh. Why are you hiding behind the smoke? That's not very smart. Are there still more of you? I guess they reappeared. Too bad the Hulk can't just grab one in each hand. Wouldn't that make things easier? I guess that's just too smart for the Hulk. This is one of those times where he just wants to smash. And he doesn't think. There you go. Uh, where are you? Can't see through the smoke. There we go. See, so yeah, I'll make it in time, probably. Oh. There's more of them, isn't there? If it's like I said, more of them are just appearing. Silver metal, not bad. Darn. Whoa, 
Well, at least I got the silver medal. Not bad. That is ten people who would have died had it not been for me. Pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Loading, please wait. Let's just press the fast forward button. Not bad. Not bad. No, I'll just take as many lives. Or about a hundred more than that. You want to know something funny? You know how in some games when you go into the water your character instantly drowns? Want to see what happens to the Hulk? Wow, using a missile launcher on me. It's a douche move. See how you like projectiles flung at you. Anyway, this is what happens if the Hulk runs into the water in this game. He doesn't die, he just hates the water. He's like a cat. He's like a big muscular cat. The water isn't really a threat to him, but he just really hates it. Museum of Fine Arts. Man, wouldn't that be a shame if someone were to smash it? I wonder if that's one of the destroyable buildings. Okay, it's not. You can t you can tell when there's a destructible building because it makes a distinct sound. You notice that these buildings aren't so much making sounds when he destroys them. You hear a very crunch crunchable sound when you hear when you hit anything destructible. That is very muted, which means it's not. Oh, over 23,000 again. Cool. That's more like it. Where's the jump point? Darn it. Need to find those jump points. Um, yeah, I'm near one, technically. Right over there. In fact, you can physically see it on the, on the screen. I didn't even need a map, really. Uh, hey, Vegzy. Uh, Hulk and Hulk Hogan. You know what? If I go back to Saints Row 4, that's what I should make my character a mix between. I should make it a mix between the Hulk and Hulk Hogan. That would be hilarious. Like Hulk Hogan, but... Like, say, um, shirtless and green and muscular. Now that would be the Incredible Hulk Hogan. I'm glad you gave me the idea. Thanks, Vegzy. And, of course, I'll still give him the deepest voice possible just for the fun of it. My voice can't even get that low. Although, I think I can try. Can you get much lower than this? Probably not. Okay, may as well get the last thing I can get, the air stomp. Bitchin. Well, it's everything. At least everything I can get right now. Sweet. We ballin', baby. Oops. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, Blonsky Files. Here we go. Minimal contribution. Ouch. He talks about analyzing my work as if he's personally familiar with it. I wonder if he has a background in science. Apparently he wonders the same thing about you, Lin. Are there any other references to this mission directive? It's a coded file. Badly deteriorated. It seems to be important to him, whatever it is. I'll get on it right away. Yeah, I'm not going to bother reading it. I'm just going to let them speak commentary. Bruce, take note of the highlighted section behind the image of Ross. My guess is this photo was taken inside Division Headquarters. Which gives us a very convenient layout of the land. Thank you very much. Right. The missile silo gives me a reference point. I recognize it from our satellite surveillance images. Check your map for an exact position. Alrighty then. Cool. What do we know about the vault? I've been hearing rumors for a while now. It's supposedly an isolation camp for test subjects exposed to gamma radiation. You think this is why Blonsky was assigned here? Could be. 
I'll try to decrypt the file, but in the meantime, we need to locate the vault. Bruce, this is worrying. It looks like they've been conducting tests in your absence. Yeah, they're trying to blame me for developing the technology and they're trying to give it a military application while everyone's looking the other way. They know it's triggered my stress. Looks like they've made an important discovery about how the transformation occurs. Well, what do you know about that? Blonsky and Ross don't get along? That's good to know. I guess he doesn't like mutants, Bruce. I'm sure it's nothing personal. Ross may be a throwback, but those stars on his shoulder didn't grow there overnight. We can only hope he carries enough weight to keep Blonsky in check. In the meantime, let's keep a lookout for that insignia or variations of it. If they're infiltrating the local populace, they might just give themselves away. Honestly, I don't know. It might be a toss-up. I mean, both of them can best be described as however strong they need to be. Logically speaking, maybe the Hulk. I mean, if it's like regular Superman, where he's got some inhibitions, I would imagine a very pissed off Hulk going on a rampage would just steamroll Superman because he would still have some control over him. Superman would still be in control over himself, so he probably wouldn't be in that rampage mode like the Hulk is. Basically, it's a matter of who gets more pissed off and who utilizes their strength better. I imagine the Hulk would be more willing to go all out than Superman, you know? Now, if they were both going full power, I'm not sure about that. Maybe Superman's stronger. Don't oh. quote me on that. I mean, apparently he can bench press planets. But, uh, you know, it's inconsistent. Like I said, it's pretty much whatever the writers want him to be. But then again, you could probably say the same about most Western comic book heroes. To a large extent, a lot of Western superheroes don't really have defined limitations. It can... It can change vastly from article to article. Like, I don't think when The Flash was made that he had the ability to go backwards through time just by speeding. Then again, maybe he did. But that seems like something that would come along later, you know, power creep. We gotta keep raising the stakes. But anyway... Ah, there we go. Oops. <laughs> Completely overshot that one. Finding a lot of these smash points. Not that I need them right now. But they'll probably come in handy later when more moves become unlocked. So, you know, why not? Uh-oh. I really need to be more careful. I keep... I keep bouncing right off the buildings. And that's obviously not what I intended to do. I'm not going all pin... pinball here. Ah, that's a challenge mission. And that's another challenge mission. Lights out. Let's see. Soldier Seeker. Kill. I think I'm just gonna go for the story mission now. After I get my smash points. And my other smash points. Okay, I think I'm good now. Probably. For about two seconds until I see another one. Ah, there's a good one. Excellent. Want to get into critical mass. <laughs> Funny you should say that. G uh, Kiru Godzilla pointed out later that this was made by Radical Entertainment, the same video game company that made Simpsons Hit and Run. So, I don't know for sure, but it's possible that this uses a similar engine as Simpsons Hit and Run. So you could call it an official mod of Simpsons Hit and Run. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm basically just making a guess at this point. 
Kind of like how you could say that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is a mod of Grand Theft Auto 3. Just speculation, of course. I sworn I just saw a comic. Ah, it's right there. You found comic. 9 out of 60. 10,000 smash points. Oh. Oh well, time to do the story mission. In front of that inflatable gorilla for some reason. I wonder why it's in front of there. We have to start putting the machine together. Oops. I'm stuck without a hydraulic lift to move the heavier parts. I need a generator for power conversion and a CAT scan apparatus to get an accurate topographic image of your brain. The locations of these items are marked on the map. So I go from destruction of property to shoplifting. Wow, I am just racking up the jail time. So don't get caught. Just be aware they've ramped up security at all locations. It gets harder from here on out. Oh. Great. Good thing I've been purchasing new power-ups. I better just do that. Retrieve a CAT scanner, retrieve a hydraulic lifter, and retrieve a substation generator. I can see why you would need the Hulk to do that. That sounds like very heavy machinery right there. Especially the substation generator. Well, I guess we we can just do this thing. There we go. Let me just get this health here. Oh boy. Using X to grab might help. Wait a minute. There's one that's all the way across there. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'll go for the closer one first. Ah, uh, I gotta destroy a building first. No problem. Hey. We're driving away. I need you. Mmm. Steel. It's time for the steel gauntlet, baby. Hey, go ahead and shoot missiles at me. Maybe if I'm lucky, some of them will hit the building, too. Oh crap, where's the thing I'm supposed to retrieve? Oh boy. Oh crap. Now I just gotta retrieve it. Oh shit, They're, they got tanks after me now. I better get out of here. Luckily tanks aren't very fast. That's the funny thing about tanks. They're powerful but slow. The Hulk, on the other hand, is powerful and fast. Did those buildings just materialize out of nowhere? I understand building detail materializing out of nowhere, but... It's like the entire structure of the building materialized out of nowhere. It's like it warped itself when I got near it. It's kind of weird. Ah, shit. Stupid camera. I'm blaming the camera for that one. It just, uh, it went loopy. Okay. I'm guessing the remaining two are going to be even harder. Objective complete. No problemo. Uh oh. Okay, I'm just bugging things out for myself. Ah, screw it. I don't need to get on that building anyway. I don't need to get on that building. All I need to do is get around town. See, I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna try to just to avoid destroying things. And then I immediately step on someone. But you know what? I tried to avoid it. If you see me coming and you don't get out of the way, well, that's just your fault. 
Shame on you. Not me. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to steal fists, not uh, smash against ground. I'm trying to be strategic about this. Oh boy. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay, I'm supposed to find it. It's like a maze in here. Oh, movie gallery, cool. I'm happy for that. I guess I gotta just destroy everything, don't I? It's bound to be in here somewhere. Found it. Oh boy. Well, the CAT scanner is probably the most important thing. We need to get the hell out of here now. Well, as long as they don't have any helicopters, I know they do, but as long as they don't have any right now, I should have the strategic advantage up on these buildings. Oh boy. Okay, let's do this. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Bingo. Phew, okay, that's two out of three. Not bad. And now we need to supply some power to this bad boy, I'm assuming. Too bad it doesn't show me where the objective is when I'm trying to choose where to jump down from. Oh. I got the nearest one anyway. Sweet. Uh-oh. A force field. We got a force field here. Well, that's unfortunate. They really are stepping it up, aren't they? Can I destroy it by smashing it? I don't think I can. And smashing is the only thing I know how to do. Am I supposed to get through that barrier? The thing that's producing the barrier is inside the barrier. Now logically speaking that's smart, but on the other hand it makes things very difficult for me. Oh boy. And I've got missile launchers on all sides. Maybe I gotta throw something at it. Oh boy. Oh, that works. Awesome. Time for missile time for some missiles of my own. Bingo. Oh boy, my health is low. My health is getting low. Shit. Quit shooting your missiles at me, please. Quit driving in my direction, you idiot. Oh boy, I think I've got helicopters after me. Which means I better hurry this up. Ah, shit. I mean, my health is good now, sort of, but... Good. <laughs> I love how I'm just doing a super jump. What's Hulk's pants made out of? Uh, convenient -ium. convenient -ium. Plot armor -ium. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's good. Mission complete. Gotta admit, that's a pretty impressively detailed model for a GameCube game. How often Hulk plays Smasher Pass why he never passes? <laughs> New Blonsky file decoded. Blonsky files are Emil Blonsky's personal data files decrypted. Okay, you already made that clear. Fire sale, baby. 
It's all about the fire sale. That say. Ten thousand smash points. A star marker will appear at the church. The marker will take Hulk to a new challenge. These guys are tough. Suspend so your smash points and new moves before the battle. Completion of story missions is necessary to advance the plot and to complete the game. Challenge missions, while not essential, can generate valuable smash point awards that can be used to purchase new moves, making it easy to advance the story. I mean, I already got everything, and I'm almost up to 50,000. So, you know. Look at that, I've got everything that I can unlock right now, and I've only almost got 50,000 smash points, so I'm good. At least for that. City Tactical Evaluation. They're using the city as a staging area. Yeah, and with the full compliance of the mayor and the chief of police, I wonder if any of the residents know this is what they voted for. I don't think even the city officials know. Let's keep an eye out for any activity that might be tied to the division. Blonsky's up to something. Anyone who wants to read all that can always pause the video. I did try to do it incrementally. I mostly just wanted to listen to it. Okay. Let's return. I guess it's on to the next area. Pretty cool. Next story mission, Nemesis. There's something happening at the military base. Listen to this transmission. We're under attack! Some kind of creature came out of nowhere! Did he say some kind of creature? I'm pretty sure that's not you, Bruce. Better go check it out before someone decides this is your fault. Eh. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just gonna blame it on him no matter what. Investigate distress call. Some earthquake happened somewhere. Damn you, Hulk! Oh boy. Here we go. What did you do to me, you freak? You've turned me into an abomination. You did it to yourself, pal. Do you have the guts? Let's find out. Defeat abomination. Oh. The health of major enemies is displayed by the red boss health meter. Each pip above the health meter indicates another full bar of health. The more powerful the enemy is, the more pips they will have. Right. Take this. Take this. You're getting ahead of yourself. How about some of this action then, huh? Oh, he's starting to get a little worried, isn't he? What the hell's that? Is that the best you could do? Ah, shit. Ooh, kick! Oh, boy. All I gotta do is pick up stuff and throw it at him. Uh, or that works too. That does not work at all. You're getting weaker. Ah, shit. No, I'm just getting stupider. I mean, I'm getting pretty strong. Oh, he's getting stronger. Oh boy. What the hell? How did he blitz me? He just blitzed in front of me and then. Oh boy, this could be tricky. How the hell am I supposed to get away from this? Oh, okay. Oh shit, I should not have thrown that. I just want to beat him with it. Shit. There goes my health. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. 
grabbing me and then slamming me. That's, that's a cheap ass move right there. Especially when he gets a such a huge burst of speed when he does it. I hope this stings too. Damn it. I hope this stings a lot. Take this. Ah, jeez. Take this. Ah, shit. Bastard. Okay. Just barely... I just barely beat him. That was actually tough. Really tough. I mean, I beat him on my first try, so he's not... as tough, relatively speaking, to other bosses that i faced in other games, but... he still made me sweat. That was barely a victory. I saw it happen. Plain as day. It's okay, sir. You're safe. Them two creatures are gone. No, no. I saw what happened. With my own eyes. The Hulk was to blame. Of course he's gonna blame the Hulk, even though the abomination was him. Better go over there before they blame you. Then they blame you anyway. That's just how it goes, huh? Dark Desert of the Soul. Bruce Banner has found temporary sanctuary at the, at the church hideout of his friend, Dr. Leonard Sampson. Together, the two men hope to recreate Banner's early experiments and construct a machine capable of subduing the raging beast within him. Okay, machine will create a direct connection to Banner's mental landscape where he can confront his dark alter ego. Banner knows time is running out. He senses a subtle yet significant change within him. A new, darker personality is emerging inside his mind. Meanwhile, Emil Blonsky is experiencing a transformation of his own. Exposure to Banner's gamma rays has altered Blonsky's own genetic material, transforming him into the very thing he despises. Blonsky has become a mutant, an abomination in his eyes, and he will stop at nothing to make Banner pay for what he has done. If you ordered large fries at fast food, would you... Bigger in size, they're having increased quantity. Huh. Um... Increased quantity, bit more like it, because they don't really make bigger fries. I mean, obviously from restaurant to restaurant, some restaurants have them bigger, but... You finished a chapter of the game, meaning that new moves are available to buy at the church. Enter the church and access the buy moves menu to buy new abilities. Bitchin'. New Blonsky files decoded. Cool. Can't wait. At least the sky is blue now. It's daytime. None of this going around the dark crap. Let's see what this has. Looks like the rumors were true about the Soviets experimenting with telekinesis. No surprise we've managed to get our hands on the technology. What's this assault mech prototype they're working on? Hulkbuster, huh? I don't know whether to be flattered or terrified. Maybe we should get a closer look at one of these things. Yeah, they're trying to match him. According to NASA's database, the Harbinger satellite was never put into use. So either they don't know what's up there, or they're keeping that fact a secret. We'll need to find out where it is in the sky at all times. I don't feel like being tagged from 200 miles. Understandable. That readout in the corner gives time, date, and distance. I should be able to triangulate and work out the satellite's location. We'll need Hulk to destroy the uplink relays. Indeed. This is an aerial view of buildings and materials appropriated by division operatives in December. Hulkbuster parts are stored in false containers on the lower and upper sections. Climate-controlled storage rooms in the rear portion of these buildings will house pilot interfaces and other delicate machinery. Guards are stationed at all times in the immediate proximity. 
Bingo. Let's go get ourselves some supplies. We'll have the Hulk take what we need and the rest can be destroyed. Sure, why not? Now let's buy some stuff. Let's see what we can get. Slam kick. Slam a two-handed weapon into an enemy and then execute a punishing follow-up. Cool. Shield. Shockwave smash. Air dash. Ooh, this one's good. Provides extra air control. I definitely want that. Great for dodging. This is an important move to master. Yeah, no, I, I can figure that one out some other time. Is Game Freak a better company nowadays compared to how they... I'd say they're worse. Because they clearly don't have any passion in Pokemon anymore, but that's just my opinion. Ooh, Tornado Frenzy. Combo an enemy in the air for extra damage. Cool. Let's do it, baby. Oh, Tornado Uppercut. Max charge this uppercut to float the enemy high. I guess that's why it was in yellow. Not because it was some extra powerful move. Power Surge 1. Increase Hulk's total power capacity. I mean, that's going to be a very useful one. Wow, look at all these. Missile Punchback. Deflect projectiles with a well-timed punchback technique. Any attack will deflect projectiles towards the enemy that fire to you. You can also deflect to a designated target. Cool. Now let's go for it. That one's going to be very handy. I'll try it. This one's going to require some practice. It's almost like parrying. Let's see how generous the timing is. I never could parry something. Try following the on-screen instructions. We need to get a handle on these new powers. Got it. You need a punch just before the incoming projectile hits you. Okay, let's do it. Fire a salvo. Oh, good. Blizzard to Bethesda, who is better? That one's kind of hard to say. I'm not quite sure. Excellent. I kind of want to say Bethesda, but that's not really saying much. Now that you've completed the tutorial, the move you just bought, can you can leave at any time? Indeed. Thank you kindly. Nice. This gives me a dash. That's going to come in handy. Like, say, if I completely mistime my jump or something. So helpful. Well, yeah, this has been fun. I hope it's been fun for you. Just watching me, watching me smash shit up. <laughs> Maybe I'll use the remaining time to just have some fun in the city. Why not, huh? Turn to gameplay? Hulk pass. You're funny. You're fanny. You know that? You're just a riot. Anyway. I remember correctly. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have just used the church because it does give you a challenge menu. Let's, um, go inside the church and go for one of the challenge missions. To the rescue, fast mover. Yeah, move through the course. The funny thing is this course doesn't have a time limit to it. It just counts how fast you go through it. So technically you don't have to go through it. You can just completely ignore it and just go around smashing things without any consequence. Fun fact. You also get to keep... All of the thing, all of the smash points that you get from it. Batter up. <laughs> See, look at that. I just go on a rampage without any any actual response. Is that awesome or what? Oh, okay. I was hoping to... Oh. 
Well, I guess that's one way to tell if you can destroy a building or not. Just see if you can target it. But once you start uh, punching it, you can tell because there's audio feedback. It actually makes the sound of an impact. Obviously, you can't destroy every building in the game, but you can destroy a good number of them. Is that cool or what? Let's see if I can destroy any other buildings around here. That nah, doesn't seem like it. But I can at least smash up the cars. Ah, that's so cool. Nice. Oh, that was so cool. Just flinging it through the air and sending it into something else, it's so great. Ooh, maybe I can go into critical mass and then just have a grand old time. Oh yeah, let's do this baby. Are there any buildings that I can destroy? You know what, screw it. I guess I'll just do it right here. There's enough cars around, watch this. That awesome or what? Yeah, you better recognize the Hulk. Man, this is fun. There are probably better ways to get smash points than this, but I don't care because it's fun. Take this. Time for some controlled demolition. Or maybe not so controlled demolition. Oh. Oh. Cool. I unlocked a movie. Isn't that nice? Ooh, what do we have here? Well, we have a cop car and we have smash points behind the cop car. Oh, it's like Christmas. The Hulk of the List radio blur sounds of destroyed buildings instead of cars. Hands. Building. Building. Dot. Wav. You goddamn! Squeeze it, shit! You goddamn! Give me the microphone! Give me the. Give me that microphone! Give me the microphone! Give me the. Give me the microphone! Give me the. Give me the goddamn microphone! Or should I say, God blessed? And because it's in the middle of a challenge mission, no resistance either. Oh, nice. Now, let's see. I need a target big enough to justify the critical slam. Wait, I think that was another building, and it is. Let's do it. Let's do the critical slam on this thing right here. Watch this. Oops. Uh, maybe not watch that, specifically. I forgot, I gotta be grounded for this. I can't be in the air. I think you gotta unlock that. Well, let's do it. You piece of shit! Huh. That building is still intact. Not for much longer. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, smash buildings. 
If you're happy and you know it, the whole damn town will surely know it. If you're happy and you know it, go and smash. That's so amazing. I love doing things like that. Makes you feel powerful. Hmm, what do you know, a bus? No, not you. Can't you see we've got a delivery to make? Smash Express. Oh yeah, I can do that. I forgot that was a move that he has. He can do it while on the move. I'm making so much destruction that it's actually causing the game to lag. In that spent in that great expedient. I'm on the move, baby. Ah, oh, it's just great. Two for the price of one. <laughs> okay. No comment. I think it's time for some more critical mass, don't you? You know what this reminds me of? Burnout's crash mode. You know, when you go on the ground and then you can do an explosion. Kind of reminds me of that. Maybe it's just me. I think I've done enough here. Oh boy. Darn it. Ah, more critical mass. Gotta love it. Take this. Man, that's fun. Ah, nice. Okay, I think I've done enough. Or have I? Ah, King Kong isn't the king of this anymore. Oh, nice. I forgot that picking that up lets you float. I completely forgot about that. Who wants to have a float? With what time I've got left. Let's go to the highest building and just float down. Just because. It's fun. Then we can see how long I can stay in the air for. Isn't that great? Super. You don't have the most air control, though. Oh, well. At least when you use the air dash, it keeps the momentum, which is great. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh boy. That really does help. Oh boy. There we go. This may not be quite the tallest building, but I'll take it. Oh, let's just float down. Unfortunately, I'm all, all out of time, though. So as I f make my way down, that's going to have to be it for this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. My next one will be Monday, 4.30 p.m. That's the plan, anyway. More Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Ah, just came and see Hulk flying in the air with a blue guy-shaped hot air balloon. What a great start. Unfortunately, it's also the end. But hey, don't worry. 
I'll end it with a bang. Once I find somewhere that's nice and populated. Morrowind, Monday, 4.30 p.m., or Hulk Ultimate Destruction, next Thursday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, of course. I also do Let's Plays at high noon. Ranking video shorts at 9 a.m. That's all Eastern Standard Time again. You can always subscribe and Hulk smash that bell icon if you don't want to worry about keeping track of time zones. A like and a comment always help, but I just hope you genuinely enjoyed yourself. Ooh, that's a pretty populated area. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like Ultimate Destruction, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and... Have a nice and pleasant day. Is that freaking awesome or what? See you later.